What's up pedal fans, watch your step. As I said, I'm a huge fan of all kind of modulation pedals. The chorus is one of the most famous effects in this category. Today we'll talk about an analog chorus vibrato pedal that got into my pedal board and never left. The Warriors Audio Julia version 1. On my first visit to London, I went to the famous Denmark street and visited all the music shops there. I met a lot of nice people and when I was in Regent Sound, I told them I want to take a pedal as a souvenir and I was looking for a chorus. I remember that the shop owner stared at a glass cabinet full of pedals and a voice just came from the back of the store screaming, show him the Julia. It was one of the employees and the owner said, oh sure, sure, of course, the Julia with his British accent. He gave me a strat, uh, plugged into an amp and gave me a quick crash course of the pedal. Well, I played for almost 30 minutes non-stopping, and in the end, I looked at him and he said, You like it, right? I told you. We laughed, and I went out of the store with the pedal in my backpack. That's how I was introduced to the Warriors audio brand. They made really great handmade pedals, and the art of their pedal is just, it's just amazing. For me, it's the best one. This is the version 1 of Julia. It has 4 knobs and a switch to control the waveform. The pedal doesn't have a battery compartment. Let's go to the explanation of each control. According to the manual of the pedal, the rate knob allows you to set the speed of which the LFO sweeps, from little to no movement at lower settings to wild wackiness at max. The depth knob allows you to change the amplitude of the LFO from no movement to deep sweeping modulation. The lag knob lets you set the center delay time that the LFO modulates around, from smooth tight modulation at lower setting to noisy nauseating detune at maximum. The lag knob adds a new dimension to the traditional chorus vibrato landscape. The wave switch lets you select either sine of or triangle LFO waveforms. The sharper corners of the triangle wave generally sounds more appealing for the chorus type effect, and the round shape of the sine wave generally sounds better which, with the vibrato type effect. The dry chorus vibrato blend changes the ratio of dry to wet signal sent to the output. At minimum, you will hear no effect. Set it to noon for equal parts to dry and wet. The traditional chorus setting. Set it to maximum for 100% wet, the traditional vibrato setting. Okay, enough of talk, let's go straight to the demo. Today I'm gonna use a Fender Jazzmaster 6th anniversary tuned in C. Let's do this.
Hey, hey, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notifications. Hit the like button and share this video to reach more people. This will help us a lot. Well, the chorus is not the kind of effect that everybody has in their pedal boards. And of course, there are classic big names in this group. What I like about this pedal is that it's completely different from other pedals that I used. And of course, the analog ability to go from chorus to vibrato by tweaking one knob. There are other pedals that do that in the market, I know. But the sound of Julia has something that caught me and the wave format switch is a plus. Keep in mind that this is not an affordable pedal, reaching prices above 200 euros here in Europe. One thing I don't like about this pedal is that if you find that sound that you really like the sweet spot, take a picture of that, because if you move just a little bit one of the knobs, you get a completely different sound. And it's not an stereo output. They have an option with stereo and more features that is the Juliana. It's like a premium version of the Julia, but it is what it is. And that was the Warriors Audio Julia. Hope you like it and see you in the next video.